Hi everyone, today we are going to talk about uh, simple identification procedure in MATLAB. So what we have here is a simple control system, controller, plant, feedback, negative feedback loop and uh, reference signal. Let's check out our process variable. Here we go. Okay, uh, let's imagine that uh, this is a real situation and we don't know the, what's inside the plant. Plant is uh, a black box for us. So what we, we are going to do in the real life and here is to put uh, sensors in the, uh, to measure the input signal and the output signal. So we go to the things and uh, in the MATLAB, instead of sensor, we put a uh, sim out block. This will be input variable and this will be output variable. We put it as an array and here we we shall put our sample time and the same here okay so now we run the model and now we can see that we have in the workspace our input and output measures throughout the whole uh, experiment. So now we need to process this data. We type ident in the command line. And here we have system identification toolbox. What we have to do, we have to first, we have to import uh, time domain data in our case. And here we will put our input and output variable. Starting time zero, sampling time. Okay, now we have our data here. We can check the time plot for it. Okay. And before identification procedure, we can make uh, some pre-process operations. Uh, for example, let's uh, remove means from our data. And now we can use renewed information. And to validate our result, we will use the initial data. Okay. So let's say I want to identify uh, my data as a transfer function model. So let's say it will be okay. It will be like this. We click estimate and the program is running. And after a few iterations Hopefully we will have our model. Oh yes, here it is. This is our model output. Uh, as we can see, we have a pretty good fit compared to our initial data. 
and if you want to check the information about model here it is just double click this rectangle so let's check out our model in the plants Let's define our transfer function. And we will see how it goes. As we can see, we have pretty good results. So this is a simple concept about how to perform identification procedure using MATLAB. Thanks for watching. Bye.